Hi, I'm Tim and you are watching Game Dev Bits. So today we're going to dive in and have a look at terrains. This is the first of a couple of videos, so make sure you skip ahead to the one you want. Uh, no need sticking around to look at things you don't want to do. So the first thing we're going to tackle is putting some layers onto our terrain. So as you can see, our terrain here has no layer or texture on it. So we'll select the terrain, go to paint, make sure we're on paint texture. Edit terrain layers, and what we would like to do is create a layer. Hmm. Okay, so then you just locate the images. We're going to go with our sand pebbles. Now, the first layer that you create on your terrain will automatically cover the entire terrain. So, what we've got here is our base is some pebbles everywhere. Now, what we can do is select our terrain layer, and you can see we can put in the other maps. So, let's add a normal map. And now our terrain has a little bit of a bump to it. So if we set our normal scale to zero, we'll back up to one. Perfect. All right, now let's add a new layer. So we'll go edit terrain layers. We want to create a layer. And this time we're going to go with grass. So we'll use, go with the darker looking grass. Perfect. Select, grab here. And then we have the, the base grass normal. All right, so to paint on your terrain now, what we do is, while we're on paint texture, what we can do is shrink the settings for our, our layer, and then we've got access to our brush. So let's pick the terrain layer that we want. This time we're gonna add some grass. Now we've got a, grab a nice built-in brush. We're painting a texture that's around about the same size as our character, so if we click, at a place, we'll notice that it doesn't really show up much. So let's change the opacity of our brush up to 100. And now when we click, the area that we're clicking will completely change to grass. Now what you'll see is there is a minimum area that we can click in. So to change that, we'll go over to our terrain settings. We'll come down here. And what we want to do is change our textures resolutions here. So control texture resolution is the splat map. The splat map is what blends the different layers together. So we're on 512 by 512 across this entire terrain. So each pixel of that splat map would be quite large. So let's scale this up and say we want to do a 2048. And now if we go back to paint. We can paint with much clearer detail because there's a lot more resolution in our splat map. What we can do now is use the square brackets to scale our brush up and we can paint in an area to look like what we want. Easy done. So now let's go back to our terrain layers and have a look at the other options. So if we go edit terrain layers, what we can do is go add layer. Now instead of creating one, we're throwing in a terrain layer that already exists elsewhere in the project. So here we go, here's one. There's some nice flowers, so we just wanna double click that to select it. And now we've got this terrain layer. Let's expand it back out. And it's brought in the normal map and the texture because they were both a part of the original layer. Now at any point in time, you can click on a terrain layer. So we're gonna our grass here. We wanna say that so we're editing. What we can do is replace that layer with one of our choice. We can put something else in there. Let's exit out of that. Or what we can do is select a layer and then if you simply replace the images, let's go with mud. It will replace that everywhere. And let's just add in that normal map while we're here. For terrain layers, that's all there is to it. And as always, a huge thanks to my patrons for making all this possible. I'll see you in the next video.